This little speaker here is the brand new acoustic speaker by Boss, the AC22LX. It's a small, lightweight amp with two custom designed 5 inch speakers, being able to plug in both a microphone and a guitar, but with the guitar it has naturally resonant sounds called air feel. Let's have a listen to these air feel settings, I'd highly recommend you put on some headphones for this next section of the video. Now it's going to totally depend on whether you're using this for picking or strumming, uh, depending on the style that you use. So for me, for strumming, I mainly do strumming, it's probably best using the AB sound. It's a lot brighter. And you have controls at the top for the rhythm box, but if you actually plug in an FS6 pedal with a TRS jack, then you've got access to it at the floor. So you can start and stop it like this. We have a bass and a treble for the microphone, and there's a three-band EQ for the guitar itself. And then for the microphone, as you can probably hear now, there's a reverb, if we turn that all the way up. Hello. And for the guitar, there's actually a, a reverb. The nice thing as well is the looper itself will actually record anything that's coming out of the guitar or the vocals. So if you've got things set in a certain way, you could record that in the looper, then change the setting of the guitar and have a different sounding guitar. Now the rhythm box actually has 15 different kinds of rhythms. We've got a dial here for five different styles and each one has three presets. So that's our first one, that's the cajon. Let's change the style. Let's put the 
third star. Of course, you can change the tempo of all of them. It's totally up to you. This is our next one, which is a little bit like uh, Castanet. Star number two. And again, you can change the tempo whenever you wish. The next one just has a little picture of bongos on. the next one. And this is the third bongo one. We've got a bit of a swing going on. The fourth in the rhythm box is a tambourine. third one is very different, actually adds in a little bit of drums as well as a tambourine. And the last one actually is drums. Let's go to beat two. And the last thing as well is the rhythm box itself has its own independent volume control. And when you get to the looper, you have to be aware that it's going to record at the volume you're inputting in. There's no independent volume control for the looper. The looper also is a one phrase looper, but it doesn't have an undo. So you have to be careful with that. And then, of course, you've got your main volume out right at the very end. And then that will actually give you the volume of everything. So with a different guitar, I'm going to step through the different sounds. I am using a plectrum. Of course, if you're finger picking, it's going to make quite a difference. Personally, for my style and the guitar I've got, the kind of pickup I've got in here, I quite like the AB uh, because I mainly do strumming. But of course, if you've got different kind of pickups or you've got a different style of guitar, it's going to make this slightly different. Depends on what you've got, what style of guitar you've got, whether you finger pick, whether you strum with the plectrum, it's going to make a big difference. Now, just to show you the back, we've actually got a couple of interesting things here. Starting with the power, of course, you get a power cable with it, but you've also got the availability to use batteries. And that's the battery compartment here that takes eight AA batteries. If you're using rechargeable batteries at a rate of 2,500 milliamps, then you'll get 
10 hours out of this speaker. You've got the USB here that I've actually plugged in so you could hear the recordings before, but there's a little switch at the top which says loop back. So what you can do is you can loop that back and so you can hear maybe the stuff coming through for a live stream and that's really, really handy. This is the additional Bluetooth adapter and what this does is it allows you to connect wireless pedals like the FS1WL, but also more importantly, it allows you to connect to the app and it allows you to really customize some of the sounds in here. We've got the foot switch connected in with which is a TRS jack, and then we've got our line out left and right mono, so if you go into a bigger PA, you could do that. And finally, we've got our OGS in, if you're plugging in something like a phone for backing tracks. The handle's like one of these reinforced sort of plastic handles, then they're fine, they're absolutely fine. Uh, really easy to grip, and it's kind of molded in that way. And of course, if I tip this this way, you can see all the controls that are there, including you've got your different air styles here, you've got your three band EQ, you've got the rhythm box, the looper, and there's a nice little indicator on the looper to show you whether it's playing or it's actually overdubbing or recording using Boss's traditional red, yellow, and green looper indicators. So what do we think of it? Well, I think it's great. It's lightweight enough to carry around, go busking with, maybe take it to a coffee house, and you can play around with those five different air feels. One of the nice things about that is if you change the air feel while you're doing a loop, you can actually record the different air feel and have different feelings with the same guitar. It does open up a new experience for acoustic guitarists. And my recommendation is if you're gonna go for one of these, I've got links in the description box, but if you are gonna go for one of these, grab the Bluetooth adapter with it as well, as it unlocks so much more for both changing some of the features inside and even potentially using a Bluetooth pedal. Just a quick thank you to Boss for sending this over to me. And for anyone who is a singer songwriter who wants a little bit more from just the average speaker, this has got it. This will get you your first couple of gigs, as I say, take you somewhere like a coffee house or a small venue, or even if it's a larger venue, it has the outputs on the back to go into a PA and then this could be your monitor. Now I use the FS6 paddle in this demonstration, but the other one you can use is this, and this is the FS1WL, a wireless Bluetooth paddle made by Boss. And we did a couple of videos about it. If you wanna see what this does, check out this video here.